happy Tuesday, happy Tuesday, happy Tuesday. We are getting ready to hop into this week's training. Um, it is the 15th of December and, um, we've got a couple things going on, right? So today's the 15th. Today is the first day that subscriptions for the January scent of the month and warmer of the month will roll out. You can still enroll. You can log onto your workstation, go to your account tab, scroll down just a little bit of the ways, and you will see the um, option to edit. So you can opt in for either scent of the month, warmer of the month, or completely opt out. Uh, you always have those three choices every single month and you can choose that kit. That kit will be available to you until December 28th. So get a little bit of wiggle room there to decide if that's something that you want to put into your business. I will say that it is truly a business investment. First of all, it's PRV. So whoop. Hello, Lee. How are you friends? Um, it does count towards PRV. And of course, you're going to have everything that you need for marketing going into January. So that's always fun, right? Now, it is, um, it's, it's not only the last month of 2020. Thank you, baby Jesus. We made it through. Um, but I don't know about you guys, but a whole new year, especially coming out of 2020, it sure feels like a blessing. So today I wanted to talk about not only kind of what we're doing to end the year, um, and in this last month of the year specifically, but also kind of looking forward into 2021. Is anybody else excited for 2021? It's got to be better than 2020. That's all I got to say. It's got to be better. Anything's got to be better, to be honest. <laughs> so, <laughs> we should be good. Um, we should be good. Uh, let's see here. So... All right, um, I did post this week the top selling products for the week. So that kind of gives you guys an idea of maybe what's trending, what's popular right now. Um, we do still have the Whiff Box. Hey, Roxana, we do still have the Whiff Box for December with Nick the Gnome. Mine is, he's hanging out back there. Can you see him? Yep, yeah, he's just hanging out, just kind of chilling and making sure everything's going to plan um and we also have bring back my bar still going until december 31st so make sure that you are reminding your customers of that um the great thing of course with bring back my bar to remind them also is to really be educating them on your Scentsy Club because if they have a scent that they're falling in love with from Bring Back My Bar, of course they can add it to a Scentsy Club and always get my bar. Um, one of those scents for me is a wink and a smile. I absolutely adore that scent. It's one of my happy scents, I like to call it. It's one of those scents that I can just put in and it just instantly makes me happy. I love a good happy scent. Um, so we do have that going on. Like I said, you will want to, you know, and I think that when we do marketing, not only do we need to be marketing, you know, we, we know what that kind of is about, right? But we really need to be doing a good job at educating as well, because as much as we want to post, you know, join Scentsy Club, right? We have to tell them a little bit about Scentsy Club too. Hey, Caitlin. And so that can kind of look different. You can do this like a hundred different ways, right? One way that I really like to do it is Miss Amanda. One of these ways that I, I really like to do it is to do an unboxing of my own personal Scentsy Club when it comes in, right? You guys know I love my unboxing videos. I love doing my unboxing videos. 
um, and they are very popular with my audience on YouTube. Um, but that is an excellent way right then and there, right? This is what I get in my Sensi Club, right? So it is a way to educate. Um, if you are doing any mail outs, I highly suggest creating, finding something in the groups, whatever you got to do, but throw in a flyer or some wording or what you need um, to do to kind of get the word out. So one of the things that I've done, and this is in the Google Drive for the group, which is in the announcements of the group here. So if you want to check it out, you can check out the Google Drive there. But this is one of the ones, now of course, the one that I have uploaded doesn't have my info or my QR code. But this is just an example of one of the fun different little uh, mail outs or pages that I like to include in my mail outs, my handouts, things like that, right? So it just is telling them all about Cincy Club. Of course, the perks, you know, are the deals, right? You get 10% off if you order $30 or more. You also get, after that 10% off of $30 or more, you also get a half price item that unlocks itself along with that when they get to $60 or more. So Anything that is a consumable product, so wax, oils, cleaning products, body products, um, scent circles, all that stuff, right, that is consumable, that they can actually add to a Scentsy Club. And one of the other perks, of course, is the always get my bar, meaning if you add a bar to that and it discontinues, you will still, and your customer, right, they will still be able to get it forever and ever and ever and always, right? That's one of the biggest key things when it comes to Scentsy Club, right? That's like what the majority of people who are subscribing to Scentsy Club are getting it for always get my bar. So bring back my bar scents are a great way. Um, the limited, limited time offer scents that we have, right? Um, uh, the Air of Mandalorian, or Air of Adventure, Air of Mandalorian. <laughs> Sounds like a, a cologne that he should be wearing. Okay, Air of Adventure, the Mandalorian scent, right? This is one that I've had in my club for a long while. I've been getting that because I loved it when it first came out. Another one that I do get in my club, another one of those sneaker scents, is when the Johnny Appleseed brick came out for a limited time. Even if they come out in a brick, guys, you or your customers, they can add the scent to their Scentsy Club and always get my bar that way. It won't be a brick, but it would be a bar. Same will go for these Bring Back My Bar scents that we currently have. Same will also go because January is our transition month, right? We're gonna be talking a lot about that in the next couple of weeks, so make sure that you are watching the trainings, but we are going to be transitioning out of our fall and winter catalog. So we're going to be having a new catalog coming, you guys. And what that means is there's going to be scents that are currently available, like Just For You or um, Happy Holidays. Like those, those scents that are in there right now, right, are seasonal scents. More than likely, those seasonal scents are not going to make it into our new catalog, right? It's spring and summer. So... There may be customers or yourself who you're like, I love this scent and I want to have it all year round. I don't want to wait and cross my fingers and hope that it comes back next fall or winter, right? So add it to a club order. Another thing that I like to do too, and I had done it for a while and I dropped off, dropped the ball on it, honestly, I really did. Right. So we all make mistakes. And one of the mistakes I made with my Sensi Club is I was revising it one month and I had let a couple of my bring back my bars fall off. Right. So if you remove them, if you've added it in as an always get my bar and it no longer is available, right, you're continuing to get it in your Sensi Club. But now there's a little warning box that pops up that says, are you sure you want to remove this scent because it is no longer available? Meaning you can't add it back again later, right? You can skip a shipment or your customers can too, right? You always have the option to skip a shipment for the month that's coming, right? But 
what I did because I was trying to, I thought I was going to, you know, be really thoughtful about this and do it all the right way. And so I started moving everything around in my Sensi Club and I had the bar that had come out in last time or the time before in a bring back my bar and it's called happy birthday happy birthday and I wanted to keep it in there because I thought oh my gosh I can like keep this scent right and put it in my super secret scentsy stash and then that way when my VIP customers when they have a birthday this is a special surprise I can send them a happy birthday bar and I was so excited and when I went in to go mess everything around yeah I accidentally left it out and so it got deleted from my always get my bar subscription so sad moment but a lesson learned right so now whenever i'm in there kind of maybe figuring out you know okay maybe i don't need two of those bars maybe I, i'm just not using this scent anymore it's not popular with my customers so i'm not gonna get it anymore right <sighs> Just, just be careful. Don't do a Jackie, okay? Don't do a Jackie. So I, I need to go through and do like an inventory of my scents from my secret Scentsy stash. But just word of advice, word of advice. Hey, Miss Kimber. Um, so uh, that's kind of what we've got going on for December at the moment. At the moment. Now I say this because today is also the official last day for the cutoff of shipping in the US to get it by Christmas. Now, remember, and please let your customers remember, is that yes, Sensi is dedicated to getting it out of the warehouses by the by in order to get it shipped by Christmas. Christmas, right? To be able to get it received. We truly have no control. Sensi does have not have any control over UPS or FedEx or the postal service if it goes through like a sure post delivery method. Okay. So if you guys have been watching the news lately, then you've probably heard they've got, you know, the big logistic carriers are starting to ship out vaccines and things like that. So some of our bigger carriers, including UPS and including FedEx, may have shipping delays because of all of this. Obviously, those bigger things are probably taking precedence when it comes to shipping and logistics. But please let your customers know that if they are ordering today, that you're going to make every attempt, since he's going to make every attempt to get it out the door so it can get to them by Christmas. But let them know there might be a slim chance now what i personally have done i've had two people order from me in the last 24 hours and what i've done is i've just said you know hey just on some odd chance you don't get it by the deadline i got you covered and that's all i said right i just i got you covered right so what i probably will do is more or less you know if for some reason they don't receive it in time i may send them out a happy mail package with you know, maybe one of my favorite scents or, you know, maybe something that I've just got on hand and just send them out something to just say, you know, I, I do apologize. You weren't able to receive it by the deadline, but we tried, right? Your customers are going to understand it is not the end of the world when it comes to all of this. So just remember it's wax and warmers. And as much as we love our wax and warmers, it is certainly not critical. So just take care of your customers the best that you can. If you need help, of course, reach out to your sponsor, he, reach out here in the group to your upline director. We, we can definitely help you out with wording or if you need some help in that area. Trello board is a great tool for inventory. I like your thinking, Kimber. Um, that is one of my main focuses right now is Trello. So if, if you guys aren't familiar with Trello, it's basically a big organizational board. So I'm, I'm a huge lover of organization of any kind. It's, it's kind of my jam. So, um, we've got that. What else do we have going on? Why do I feel like there is something missing that I'm just not remembering? I don't know. Okay. So let's talk, um, 
I do have my monthly leaders meeting tonight. Um, and tonight we're going to be talking about reporting and things like that. Um, so pulling reports off the reporting tab. So if you are a leader above and you're in the leaders group, then make sure um, that you uh, catch that or catch the replay of that trading tonight. If especially those of you who are newer or are still having trouble pulling reports and looking at things, um, I'm going to do a real in-depth thing, um, training thing, training, uh, <laughs> pulling reports. <laughs> the reports anyway that I find most helpful and then I feel that you guys would find most helpful too. Oh, good reminder, Kimber. So the workstation and the website, our personal websites, yes, will not be available the 19th and the 20th due to a little downtime. So just keep that in mind. Don't freak out. It's okay. Remember, it's all right. Um, so let's talk for a minute. You know, we are here. It is the 15th of December, right? So we're getting ready to go into this new year. So what I really want you guys to focus on currently is not only finishing your business. Okay, so just because it's the 15th of the month and today is the deadline for that holiday receiving, you know, cutoff, right? That doesn't mean that we quit working. That doesn't mean that we're just like, oh, all right. I have half of a month just to chill and relax and unwind. That's fine if that's what you choose to do. I personally am not going to be doing that simply because mama got goals right and mama needs a paycheck in january for everything that we're doing in december so just because it is going to be the 15th doesn't mean that i stop my business right that doesn't mean that there's now nothing for me to do um I know. I know, Roxana. Don't worry, though. They're going to have it down and they're going to do their upgrades and or whatever they need to do, right? They're going to get it done. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, and then you can also let your customers know, too, if you have them that are trying to get on and maybe they message you say, you know, hey, it's not working. Go ahead and take their order from them and just say, you know, hey, don't worry about it. I got you. I will get you put in as soon as it's right back up right? You can send them an invoice, a PayPal, um, Venmo, Square, Cash App, whatever it is that you use to collect payments, right? Just send them an invoice, go ahead and take their order. And then that way you can kind of babysit the workstation or the website. And remember, even from the workstation, you can attach, if you go into the workstation, go to orders and click on individual order. You can put their order in and you now have the option to attach it to a party without closing the party, okay? So right then and there, it gives you the little drop down that says, would you like to attach this to an existing party? So if that's something that you're worried about that you wanna make sure that it gets attached to a party, you can now do that from the workstation if you guys were not already aware. So you do have that option and then that way again it's just more customer service driven so that way you can you know take the burden off of them don't worry about it i get it nobody wants to sit there and stare at a computer all day i got you right i'll put your order in later i'll just send you an invoice that's personally what i'll be doing um and i do that a lot with my customers because a lot of my customers do work jobs during the day right and they don't have time to either especially for limited time offers when those come out or just in general, right? They're like, I work all day, but I'd really like to, you know, place an order, you know, don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. Just send me a text with what you'd like. What's the best email for your pay? You know, if I don't already know what payment method I usually use with them, because I do have customers that sometimes use different ones. And then I just send them an invoice. All they have to do is pay the invoice and then I take care of it. Um, so just because we are past as of tonight, right, technically, we are past the cutoff for shipping, we still need to be working our businesses in some way. Um, now, this does not mean, and I want to say this in the best way possible, it's the holiday season, my friends. I truly want you to make sure that you are spending quality time with your family and your loved ones. I do. It is one of my biggest wishes this holiday season, however you want to say it, right? Because you guys have worked so hard this year. 
you guys have been working through a pandemic. You guys have been working through um, quarantines, right? And regardless of where you live, I'm sure that it's affected you in some shape or form or another, right? Um, we still have a limit on gatherings here where I live. You know, we still have to wear our masks everywhere that we go. Uh, there's still, you know, some restaurants that either are not open or um, are reducing staff, things like that. Uh, a lot of small businesses that are really having a hard time right now. There's just a whole lot. And then, of course, <laughs> for those of us who have younger ones, we have virtual school that still keeps going. <sighs> So, with everything that we've been through in 2020, I want to make sure that you guys are taking the time that you need over this holiday season to fill your cup. Fill your cup. Remember, you cannot pour from an empty cup. One of the things that always sticks out with me and a reminder of this topic is that when you're in an airplane, and they say, you know, in case of emergency, if the air mask falls down, you take it yourself and then you take care of the others around you, right? Like the minors, children, the, the elderly, what have you, right? That is simply because you cannot help others if you're not at your best, okay? Um... Oh, Amanda, yes, in Canada. So, yeah, see, there's a lot of restrictions. There's still a lot of restrictions. That's tough. That's tough, just tough. But it's also tough mentally, right? Like, and, and uh, luckily, uh, my husband has not been affected with his job because he actually works in logistics. So he hasn't been affected with layoffs or furloughs or things like that with his position but there are hundreds upon hundreds of thousands of thousands of thousands of people who have been and so that takes a toll mentally emotionally it can be very draining and it's also just been a long year so <laughs> just make sure that this holiday season that you aren't taking the time to be with your family so I'm not saying from now until the end of the year, take off, please. I, I would advise against it. Now you do you, boo, but I'm going to advise against that. Now, that's not to say that come uh, maybe a day or two before Christmas and a day or two, whatever, or that week after Christmas, whatever, you're just like, I'm, I'm going to take some time. I'm going to step away. Then all you need to do is just make a little graphic, make a post on your, especially your VIP page or your uh, business page or your social media, whatever you want to do, right? However it is that you work your business and just say, you know, hey, happy holidays to all. Just letting you know, I will be out of office until dot, 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 right? communication is the best form of customer service. So our customers are not going to get mad if they see and they're like, oh, oh my gosh, did you see she's taking a vacation? She's not going to be available to take my order, right? Whatever. They're not going to be all flabbergasted about it, but you need to take care of you. So plan accordingly and just make sure that you're communicating that out. That is going to give you the grace. It's going to give you the freedom and you're going to get some time to spend with your amazing family to enjoy some of the holiday time and create those memories. Okay. Now, <sighs> When we do that, you can also find ways that you can set your business up for working when you are not working, right? What are some of those ways? Some of those ways are scheduling your posts, especially on Facebook, okay? You can schedule out some posts. So take maybe an hour or two over the next week or so and maybe, you know, sit down and schedule out some posts for your VIP page, for your business page, um, you know, your personal page, if that's where you're posting, schedule those things out. So that way you have content that you know is already going to be going out 
that you don't have to actively do that day, right? I do that a lot of times, especially the times I know, like in the past when I've had to have surgery or things like that, and I know I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna be able to do the things, right? So what I've done in that place is I have made sure that I scheduled posts for the days that I wasn't going to be actively on social media. Does that make sense? So that way you're still there in social media world, but at the same time, you're not having to take the time out of your day to do those things, right? Um, oh, yay, okay. All right, the latest Friday. Excellent, excellent, okay. Um, so you can find ways to work your business and not and be actively working it. So just one of those ways that we talk about working smarter, not harder, right? So take the pressure off of yourself. Um, now, I will say that one of the things that you may want to plan for if you are planning on taking time off is around that first day of January. Now, hello. First of all, you want to at least maybe check in during the 31st, right? I know a lot of people have a lot of plans and if you've got plans and you're not gonna be able to do things, then by all means, don't do them. But I would highly suggest trying to at least check in because it is end of month and especially if you have team members. Again, communicate with your team members, right? Hey, I'm, you know, my my family and I, we do a thing or we're, I'm not gonna be available this day, right? Let them know that they can post in the groups that those are available for them, right? Um, but you will want to make sure that you're at least maybe checking in, taking a look at things on the last day of the month. For one, it's the last day of the month, right? So just because it's December doesn't mean that that means that it's not like a normal end of month, right? We, of course, will have Heidi and Orville coming on to do their live at some point, they usually always spoil us with a sneak peek of something, right? So uh, I never try to miss those because I really want to, it's very exciting for me. Plus that's part of the reason of one of the many ways that I love our Sensi business and that we have um, the fun like that, right? To, to kind of get us all excited. And then of course, on the first day of January, you know, at least for me, right? Like I usually will go through and do graphics on my team page and update those things. Um, but the first day of January, so we're going to have a lot of things happening, right? We've got our warmer of the month, which you guys have seen. It's going to be a dual warmer of the month, right? We've got the full size and we've got the mini of the core warmers. So we've got the rose gold, gold, and silver. Remember, so you're going to get two warmers of the month and we've got our new scent. What is it? Uh, Jasmine and something. Um, I can't remember now, but I know it sounded great. So we're going to have that happening. So you're going to want to make sure that if you do have any pre-orders that you're ready to go again, just like you would do any other pre-order. That's when you collect the information from your customer. Hey, this is what I want. Go ahead and send them an invoice. Again, whatever your favorite payment method is of choice. And then that way you've got your payment and everything and you can imp import those orders input, sorry, input those orders for them so you can make sure that they get theirs. Um, I will say it's probably going to be a popular one. I don't exactly know yet. We don't have any idea, but um, just another reason you probably are going to want to make sure that you're at least paying attention some to some degree on what's happening on the first. Also, of course, January is going to be our transition month. So that means it is going to be the last month that our current catalog is available. Okay, the last month. Let's go back and remember 
and that when scents are going away, what's the one thing that we really want to communicate out to our customers? Scentsy Club and educating them about Scentsy Club because it's those scents that they very well may love that are going to be going away. One that I've kept in my Scentsy Club, I'm very proud of this fact because it's one of my favorite scents, but one of the ones that I have kept since last fall and winter was Winterberry Apple Tea. It is truly just one it's it's like in my top 10 favorite all-time scents right Jaden Jasmine thank you Roxana I, I knew it was Jasmine something but it sounds amazing it sounds really good um <laughs> um but I love that scent and it's just another example of just because it's a fall winter scent doesn't mean that it wasn't great all year round let me tell you in the summertime i was still warming winterberry apple tea okay that's just how good of a scent it is so you want to make sure again that you're educating that you're putting information out especially next month right those scents that are going away um, we're going to have more training around transition month and what that means. So for those of you who this is going to be your first transition, get ready. Um, we're going to make sure that you have all the tools that you need and know everything that you need to know going into transition. Um, so having quality family time, work your business without taking time away from your family. Okay. Um, and I will kind of maybe encourage you guys to do your own personal challenge to yourself. You know, just because, again, we've we've now, as of today, are passing that shipping cutoff, right? But you still have customers who they may still want their Scentsy or need their Scentsy, even not just because they want it before Christmas, right? They just are going to need their Scentsy, right? It's business as usual for some customers and we want to make sure that we're there for them. So maybe a personal challenge that I'll, I'll kind of leave to you guys to decide if you want to do or not is to screenshot your PRV today and maybe say, you know, I want to push myself to get 200 more before the end of the month, right? Maybe you want to push yourself to 500 or more. This is also the last month we have towards our Walt Disney World incentive. OMG. Now, I know that some of you are really, really worried about this. So I'm going to challenge you to really, really keep pushing for those sales. Your PRV is going to help you. Sponsoring points are also going to help you. So if you have team members, helping them reach those milestones, right? Getting to certified, getting to lead, promoting to star. Those are the way, that's the way that you're going to be able to earn those sponsoring points is helping them to better their business. Now, it's good for them too, right? Because if they promote this month, hello, that's a pay raise they're getting this month. So that's gonna look amazing for that January 10th paycheck, right? Who doesn't want to have a nice paycheck right after the holiday? That's gonna do probably you and your family a lot of good, depending on you know where you're at with finances. So, um. <laughs> yeah, Amanda is very strict on what she warms during each season. So I totally get it. And what's really funny, Amanda, you say that. Um, and I know, I know you're having fun with it. But I actually have like three or four, maybe even a couple more customers who are exactly the same way. And in years past when I've been like, hey, these scents are the ones leaving. And they will like message me or text me back and they'll be like, Straight up, like, I don't warm it if it's not the season. <laughs> okay, just letting you know, right? So I totally get it and I totally understand. I do have customers that are the same way. Uh, <laughs> so I I will say um, that's a really great way to kind of push yourself a little bit further. Push past maybe that comfort zone of where you may say, okay, it's the 15th of the month. Either you've met your PRV goal or you're already paid a title and you're just like, mm, I'm good, right? <sighs> Maybe it's time to give yourself a personal challenge. And hey, if you do it, reach out to me and let me know. Send me your screenshot from today and then send me your screenshot or whatever it was that your goal was to reach by the end of the month. And, um, you know, 
sometimes there's magic up my sleeves. So I will definitely say I'm going to encourage you guys to do a personal challenge for yourself because I mean, like I said, it's the end of 2020. <laughs> if nothing else, let's celebrate the fact that it's the end of 2020. <laughs> ah! So we can do this. We can get through this. Um, and I think that you guys will soon see, um, I know I've teased you a lot, so I, I'm not, not going to try and tease you again, but I am going to say, you know, 2021, this is going to be the year to be a consultant. So I encourage you guys to also take some time, especially if you're going to take time off, whatever, um, you know, that may mean that you're maybe not as active, but that may mean more personal reflection time. Uh, obviously towards the end of the year, it's a big time of year to do, um, you know, set those new year goals to create some affirmations. Maybe that also looks like picking a word for the new year, right? Picking a word to go into 2021. What would your word be? In years past, my, my words have really kind of inspired me and and kind of led me through my year. It's it's one of those things that I kind of set myself up and will will reference back. Like I usually will pick my word and I'll put it, well, like this year I put it in my planner. Um, I also have it here on my desk and it just has kind of sat there the whole year. So on those days or on those months where it feels like it's just really hard to get anything going or you're just struggling just to figure out you know, what your next step should be. It's a really great reference back to have that word to kind of refocus and go, okay, remember, this is my goal. This is my word for the year, right? So I've heard intention, um, consistency, evolve, um, lead, believe, dream, I've seen phrases like gold or gold, gold digger, um, or what was the other one I was thinking of the other day that someone told me, um, goal obsessed or something like that. I don't know. So little phrases, right? So, <laughs> Roxana, Amanda, hope that's a great one. Roxanne, I'm going to challenge you to come up with a different word for 2021. She's going to come up with a different word. So something like that, right? That you can, and then what I want you to do is I want you to write it down, whether again, it's on a post-it note, whether it's on, uh, the wallpaper of your phone, um, deliberate. Yes. Deliberate, deliberate, deliberate. Hmm kind of like intentional maybe um and then keep that word up and make that what you kind of pull yourself back to remind yourself so thinking forward how do you want to go into this new year what does your mindset look like to you is it going to be that you know I'm going to push through. Maybe it's, you know, busting through that comfort zone in some way. Um, maybe it's live or live, right? Maybe that just is going to remind you, you know, I need to live in the moment. Maybe it comes out of, um, you know, something like that. Something that's going to help you push past those boundaries. Perseverance. That's another amazing word, right? Those are great words that you can really just focus on and give your new year that outlook. These are things that you're going to come back to. So if you're going to set yourself up some goals, write those down. The The power of writing down goals, I mean, there's science around it. There's statistics. There's all kinds of things about the power of writing those things down the same way that it talks about with affirmations and daily affirmations, right? Things like that. So take those tools, write down those words, write down a sentence that maybe is something that you want to shoot for in 2021. Take this time to really just look forward in your business. 
and I also, I'm gonna remind you guys, and I'll probably remind you again before the end of the year, is one thing that I always do, I'm a big, you guys probably know enough about me when it comes to um, my planner and things like that, right? But I track daily numbers. And one of the things that I really love to do is to be able to write down what my end of year stats look like. So that way, next December, I can look back and I can compare and go, look at the growth that I've done between last December and this December. Where am I? So that's a good thing that you guys can do as well. When you're writing down your words, writing out those goals, really write down, wait till the end of the month and write down, you know, what was your PRV? What is your title? Um, how many people do you have on your team? How many people have you sponsored all year? All year, all year, right? Write those things down. And then you're going to challenge yourself to bust through them in 2021, but it's going to be a really great present to yourself to be able to next December look back and go, huh, that's where I was then. This is where I am now. And have that, have that pride because it is very much so something to be proud of. Growth is always something to be proud of. And we can't grow without trying and we can't try without failing. So you need to fail. You need to try. You need to grow to be able to get to where you want to be. All right, guys, that's what I've got for you this week. Leaders, I will see you tonight. Um, and let's get ready as we slide into the end of this year. Thank you. Finally, we're at the end of 2020. We got this, you guys. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.